how to fix Samsung phone not showing on the computer. Now when connecting your phone, if you plug it in, you will hear a sound. What you need to do is swipe down at the top and tap on USB tethering and make sure you select transferring files or Android Auto. Now you may need to verify yourself with a pin or a fingerprint. After on your computer, it should show a folder. Here it's a Galaxy device name. You go into internal storage. And then if you are looking for documents, it's in the documents folder. If you are looking for download files, it's in the download folder. Uh, you can go to DSIM folder and then camera to access your photos and videos. Now, if for some reasons you can access this, you can go into settings. So swipe down at the top and tap on settings and then simply type in USB settings. So type in USB settings. And if you scroll down, you can see it shows here. So sorry, that's the wrong spelling. I just fixed that. USB settings. Okay, so if you scroll down, you can type in USB settings and then tap on that. And from here, make sure you select transferring files. Now, another thing that you want to check is when you um, plug in the cable, make sure your phone is unlocked. If it is locked, then it will not show or it will not connect to the computer. So make sure you unlock your lock screen first. And then just quickly swipe down at the top and it will show the USB file transfer option. Okay, another thing that you can do is to go into developer option. So first we need to open up developer option. So go into about phone and then tap on software information. And you need to tap on the build number seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. After that, enter in your passcode and developer option will be enabled. And if we go back into the settings menu, there is developer options. So go into developer options. Okay, and here we need to scroll down and you need to find default. So in here we scroll down and we need to find the default USB configuration and then select transfer files or Android Auto. You can also use the search function. So config, config, creation, and in here you should be able to find it using the uh, search function. Another thing that you can try is, uh, is to turn on USB debugging. Now again, the menu is quite long, so uh, if you want, you can type in USB debug. So in here, if we can find USB debug, USB debugging, and then tap on USB debugging, and then uh, turn it on. So turn on and tap on OK. And when you turn it on, it should show uh, on the computer. Another thing that you want to check is on your computer, uh, you want to make sure you have Samsung drivers. Um, if it's not installed on your computer, you can try to install Smart Switch on the computer so that the drivers, the appropriate drivers, is installed on the computer. Now, if it still does not work, you may want to re-inspect or recheck your USB cable. Make sure the USB cable is working correctly. You could try to use another USB cable or the original or data cable USB cable. Sometimes the USB cable is only good for charging but not uh, good enough to transfer files. So make sure you use a good quality uh, cable that has the capability to transfer files. And you can also try a different USB port on a computer. Sometimes a USB port is not working. You may want to plug it to the back or to the front of the computer and try different USB port. And yeah, give it a try. Uh, another thing is if you go into settings and connections, then turn on or turn off Bluetooth and uh, see if that helps because uh, sometimes with Bluetooth, uh, audio routing can interfere with the connection. Okay, so hopefully one of the solutions can help you solve uh, a problem with your phone, your Samsung phone, not connecting or not showing files on a Windows computer. Thank you for watching.